in the heart of Nigeria's oil-rich coasts, on the island of Bonnery River State, stands the Federal Polytechnic of Oil and Gas, a center of innovation and knowledge. 3rd of October was a special day as dignities gathered for a monumental event. The first international conference of the School of General Studies. This event brought together scholars, industry experts, and top leaders from across the globe. The conference marked a significant opportunity for exchanging ideas, inspiring change, and shaping the future of education and industry partnership. From cutting-edge research in the social sciences and humanities to innovations in oil and gas technology, the discussions here promises to be transformative. Welcome to this historic moment where collaboration drives progress. Welcome to the first international conference of the School of General Studies, Federal Polytechnic of Oil and Gas, Bonnie. Together, we shape the future. Good morning, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you to the School of General Studies First International Conference 2024. After welcoming the guest, Dr. Victor Okoloba, highlighted his clear mission, which is to merge technical experience with social responsibility, emphasizing that under his leadership, the Polytechnic is not just focused on producing skilled professionals, but also cultivating leaders who are committed to societal progress. Through innovative education and hands-on experience, students are prepared to contribute meaningfully to their communities, ensuring that their impact extends beyond the profession and into the fabric of society itself. Reading through the profile of the keynote speaker, the master of ceremony, Dr. Kalapapa Dapa, noted that Dr. Excel Boho, currently the performance improvement lead at Shell Global in the Netherlands, has built a distinguished career in LNG production operations asset management and project management since joining Nigeria LNG Limited in 2004, holding multiple academic degrees including a doctorate and certifications in business and quality management while also contributing as a technical author, public speaker, youth development strategies and family man. This ushered in the much anticipated keynote speech of Dr. Excel Boho, who spoke virtually from the Netherlands. Dr. Excel Boho, representing Shell Netherlands, delivered a keynote address emphasizing the importance of disciplinary approaches in tackling the challenges faced by the energy sector and fostering economic engagement. He underscored the need for innovative cross-field collaboration to promote sustainable development. Dr. Okpoho also stressed that the public should not rely on political leaders to solve their problems. Instead, individuals must take proactive steps to navigate the economic challenges imposed by the political class. Thank you, Next on the agenda was the sighting of Priye Emini Iyala Amadi, the lead paper presenter and professor of French and Translation Studies at the Ignatius Aguero University of Education, Port Harcourt, with academic qualifications from the University of Benin in French, University of Port Harcourt, and a doctorate in French and Translation Studies from the University of Ibadan. She also holds an advanced certification from the University of Paris. Professor Yala Amadi has held key roles, including River State Coordinator of the Rural Women Literacy Project, visiting scholars at the University of Portacourt, and adjunct professor of the Federal University Utweke. At her home institution, she has served as the head of department, acting dean, and director of ICT Center. Featured twice in the Nigerian Television Authority's Women in Focus, she has been involved in numerous academic and professional organizations, including UFTAN, LEN, NEL, and the American Translators Association. And she presented papers at international conferences, a fellow at the Society of Research and Academic Excellence and the Association of Nigerian Authors. She also achieved a legal victory for Nigerian women in 2009 regarding the passport regulations. A former champion of French orthography, she is currently vice president of the Alliance Francaise Port Harcourt. 
widowed from the late Elechi Amadi. She has two children and enjoys walking, traveling, reading, and solving board games. So, it's possible for a lot of this Professor Priye Enemi Eyala Amade delivered a lead paper titled Interdisciplinary Approaches to Community Engagement and Social Inclusion, highlighting the significance of integrating perspectives from various fields such as language, literature, law, science, technology, and the oil and gas industry to develop holistic solutions. In her presentation, she emphasized the need for gender equality, the preservation of indigenous languages, and inclusive community engagement practices. After the lead paper presentation, the host and dean of school, Dr. Fidelis, officially declared the conference open. He acknowledged the significance of interdisciplinary methods in solving complex societal issues and encouraged participants to explore collaborative strategies. As the conference gradually wrapped up, key topics discussed included leadership and management practices, essentials for organizational success, strategic planning and managing interdisciplinary terms for community-focused goals. Presentations on science and technology highlighted advancements in environmental sustainability, resource management and innovative technologies to improve industrial processes. Discussions on communications, language and literature emphasized effective communication strategies preservation of indigenous language and the role of literature in shaping cultural narratives. Legal experts discuss frameworks for achieving environmental justice, the evolution of e laying and gender equality within the legal system, the oil and gas industry challenges, including microfinance's role in economic development and technology use for sustainability, were also covered. Calls for action included promoting interdisciplinary collaboration between academia industry and communities, advocating policies to support cultural identity and inclusivity, leveraging technology for community development and empowering women and youth through financial literacy and leadership initiatives. The questions and answers were taken. The conference was concluded with Mr. Oku Christopher, Chairman, Local Organizing Committee, delivering a vote of thanks. He expressed heartfelt appreciation to all speakers, participants and the organizing team for their dedication and contributions to the successful events. Many thanks indeed for joining us through this educative and insightful conference. My name again is Moses Waribo and this is Think Tank TV.